Hi friends, how's it going? If you don't know me, my name is Kate. I have a small clothing brand called Mini Groove Studios. You can check me out on Instagram or on my website, minigroovestudios.com. Today, as we wrap up 2022, I wanted to show you guys everything that I made in 2022. It's crazy to say that 2022 is almost over. I'm hoping that there are new opportunities for everyone in the upcoming year. And I just want to say Happy New Year's, guys. So just a little bit of background. I started knitting December of last year when I went home for winter break in Minnesota. And then I started crocheting in March. I'll be showing you guys everything that I have with me that I kept for myself. But I'll also show you guys things that I've sold or gift it also if you guys see anything that you really like shoot me a dm on instagram because a lot of these items are just sitting here i have my laptop here so i can look at these photos while i show them to you guys so yeah let's get started the first thing that i made this year is this sweater it's just a chunky blue sweater i used lion brands woolies like six or seven balls of it and this thing weighs like three pounds it's so heavy pretty much just knitted two panels with ribbing at the bottom and then a panel for the sleeve with ribbing at the bottom and then just sewed everything together and then picked up stitches for the collar i only wore it a few times because i went to school in arizona and it got too hot <laughs> there and the sweater was so warm so i couldn't really wear it or else i'd be sweating there's a few mistakes but i don't really notice them this is just a bonus one this is actually my first sweater that i made here is the next piece this was actually inspired by something i saw on pinterest now i know that it's lint mix design little sweater vest i had a collar on it but i think i didn't like it so i took it off didn't get around to fixing that next is this cropped cardigan the pattern is from kara's knit ang one of the only patterns i've ever bought but it's just this chunky cardigan i had the edge um, ribbed but for some reason i took it off i don't remember why but I learned a ton from this sweater. I, yeah, check out her pattern. I think I bought it through Etsy. This was the next piece. I love this tank. I tried to shape it similar to an American Apparel top that I have. This was a base for a lot of other tops that I've done. You'll see them later in the video, but I still wear this today. It's in one of my recent outfit videos on Instagram. But yeah, it's just this fuzzy material. The next thing I can't show because I gave it as a gift to my friend Shay. It's just this mustard balaclava. I followed Jenna Phipps' tutorial on YouTube. I had to adjust it a little bit because I used chunkier yarn than she did. It turned out great. And then the last thing I made in January was this chunky bralette. I don't really remember making this. Here it is. The ends are not weaved in, which is a common theme throughout the video. So this is the only thing I made in February. I must have gotten really busy with school at the end of the month, but it honestly is one of my favorite things that I've ever made. It is the scarf. It is the comfiest thing ever. It's a one by one rib. I think I did something funky with the edges to make them cleaner, but I can't remember what it was. It is honestly one of my most worn pieces. It's just the best scarf ever. If you want to put the time into it, definitely make something like this now we have entered march this is when i started to crochet since i took that little break from knitting i was able to pick up crochet a lot easier i think just with the muscle movement i couldn't get used to crocheting when i was knitting consistently i started with literal dish scrubbies that i would make for my kitchen they were just cotton reusable ones that you could wash then i upgraded and i made a few hats so i'll insert some photos of those because i don't know where they are okay i lied i found another hat this one has a bigger brim on it because i fear the sun and aging and it covers my skin and then i learned the granny square so i made a couple granny square hats i made one for my friend slash roommate at the time and then i also made this one definitely a good springtime hat and as i said before i went to school in arizona so march it's already hot definitely had a little crochet bikini phase and i can't really find most of them there's one top that i made i'll insert some photos too definitely i'm gonna bring these back this summer i changed the design several times here is another bikini. It's a stretchier material than just cotton. I think it's like a cotton polyester blend. Here are the bottoms and these are adjustable too. Another bikini. In March, I also made one of those diamond tops that were super popular. 
it's very easy you literally just crochet a square and then attach straps i also made that triangle top in orange then i also got into making earrings i have this pair of flower earrings I made this checkered top which i also don't know where it is it took me forever i think i spent like a whole weekend making it and i just binge watch netflix the whole time then i made a few matching hat and bikini combos and then i made this hat that has little bear ears and fun fact someone actually commissioned one of these to wear to coachella I think that was my first sale like ever <laughs> The next thing I made was this black mesh top, but this is actually the beginning prototype for one of my more popular styles called Weave In My Ends that I made a bunch of. I'll insert some colorways of the Weave In My Ends tops that I made. I made a lot of them this summer. I also made a matching skirt, but turned them into shorts, and I do not know where those are either. Then I made my first shrug, which I posted on Instagram. I did like a bell sleeve, so I crocheted straight three quarters of the length of the sleeve, and then I flared it out a little bit. I remember skipping class to finish that one. Not a good example, but yeah, and I actually just gifted one to my friend Maddie, and she wore it on vacation. It was really cute. I also made a few of these produce bags. There's a tutorial on my TikTok for this if you guys want to check it out. Then I made the wear SPF tote, which was very on brand for me. I religiously wear sunscreen. I actually did this lettering with crochet. It doesn't look very good. Maybe I'll recreate a knit version of it because I'm a lot better at lettering with knitting. Wear SPF so you don't get skin cancer, friends. And then I made a few of these bikini tops that were kind of a different style. This next piece is really cool. It's kind of a corset style, very experimental. I think I sketched it out a little bit. I know I wanted the pink and brown the white contrast stitching as well and have a cutout in the middle. I actually think I had another piece that went in the middle, but I never added it. You kind of get some underboob, but it's really cute. I've never worn it because I don't know where I would wear it. It's definitely really cool. Then I made this top with brown stripe, brown and white stripe. Um, I don't know where it is, but I think I found inspo from a Pinterest photo. Some crochet hair bows. I think that was during finals week. I look rough. Everyone needs some crochet hair bows. In May, I graduated. Yeah, I graduated from U of A. But I crocheted my graduation cap cover, so I stayed up until like 4 a.m. crocheting a cap cover to wear to my ceremony at 9 a.m. the next day. And a few more projects here and there. I made a bag for my mom for Mother's Day that had puff flowers. I made a granny square bikini top, some arm sleeves, um, some butterfly earrings, and then lots of those weave in my ends tops. I actually started selling them through Instagram. If you have one, you're part of like the OG mini group fam, which is cool. <laughs> um, I had different tags and stuff back then. Okay, now we are in June. So right before I moved out of Tucson, I bought a load of thrifted yarn and it actually all worked out like color wise together. I made this sweater. It took me like 30 hours. It took me so long, but definitely worth it. It is so cute. It's actually a pattern from Hey Hey Crochet. It's the poly pullover. It's a free pattern online. The colors just worked out so perfect. I love this sweater. I still wear it all the time. Then I designed another top. I called it the dune top. Made a black and white version and then a tan and cream. And then I made a few bucket hats. I made one for Elliot um, and then I made one for myself and I actually made an orange one too. This is the one that I made for Elliot. This one was for me. Then I made a shrug and a matching bralette for my friend Haley. I made a little party hat. I feel like I should have like an occasion where I wear this hat. Maybe for like a video or something. My hair is getting all messed up because I keep putting hats on. Next thing I made was this shell stitch top. At the end of June and into July, I went to Europe for three weeks. So I didn't crochet that much, but I did make a few things while I was there. It was so freaking cold in Ireland, so I ended up buying some yarns. And I made this little headband to wear while I was there. I bought my first hank of yarn, and I didn't have a swift, and I didn't know how to wind it. So it was a complete mess. I made these two bandanas. These are like flight kind of projects. And then also we stayed with Elliot's family members in Germany. So I made them a doily and coaster set for a gift. Throughout the trip, I was making granny squares. I made this cute little fringe top out of them. 
I really like that one. If you haven't watched my other videos, um, I am still in the process of moving, so there's like random stuff everywhere. Some of the stuff is either deep in a box or still at my parents' house because that's where I was before I came here. So yeah, be patient with me. I'm sorry I don't have everything with me. So this is from when I got back, but I made this meshy top for a birthday dinner with a friend. Uh, I also wore it on Instagram recently. I'll put that photo in there too. But then I made this top, which has some like gauge switches. This is a very versatile piece. I layer it over bralettes, but also like turtlenecks. It's an awesome piece. It's cotton. I wore it in a vlog before. And along with that, this was supposed to be like a tube dress, but you can wear it as a skirt. You can layer these two, so it's like a set. By the way, we are in July right now. So when I got back from Europe is when I started really focusing on building my website and stuff. So a lot of these next pieces are from my first drop, so I don't have them with me. But this next one is pretty much the same as the last top that I showed, but it's a baby blue colored and it's a little bit thicker yarn. This is definitely my favorite piece. It's just this striped sweater and it has loose ends still just because it belongs to me. So I don't really feel the need to do it because I can do it anytime if I wanted to. I kind of like that it looks more handmade, but it's just this super boxy sweater. The sleeves are wide. It has that string on the back so it doesn't fall off the shoulder. It has an embroidered mini goo tag, which is an idea that I got from Eloise Clarkson, my idol. Expression L on Instagram, check her out. She just launched a website as well. She makes the most beautiful dyed yarn. She's just genius. This is my first raglan. Very messy, very distressed. I wear it all the time. I love it. It's so cool to layer. I was always very intimidated by the raglan, but once I figured it out, I made like everything in this style. Then I made a shuggy version of that sweater that I showed earlier. I love the whole style, the look, so I made it into a shrug. Then I made a custom raglan sweater for my friend Tommy. I embroidered his name in the tags. It turned out really good. I also made the same raglan crop tee for my friend Hannah for her birthday because her birthday is in August. So the next thing was the Ice Queen shruggy. This was part of my first job along with the scrap yarn cat beanie. Then for my other friend Hannah, I made her a little bell sleeved shruggy. It turned out really cute and she looks so cute in it. And more cat hats. I made one for myself. This super cropped raglan tee with quadrupled up cotton yarn that I had left over. Then I made some leg warmers when we were in northern Arizona because it got really cold that night. Just mini ones. And then my next shrug, I called it the cake shrug. It was just a raglan bell sleeve with some vintage, uh, I can't remember what they called it right now. I'll put it on the screen. My friend Shay actually ended up buying it and she looks so cute in it. This was a really cool piece. I called it the watermelon sugar shrug. It was all my yarn scraps. I just love it. And it went to a really good home. And then I made this set I called the berries and cream set. It had that high neck top, which was the same style as that fuzzy top that I showed you. And then I made little arm warmers to go with it. I also made um, pretty much the same exact top, uh, mixing the this like metallic green and cream colored yarn. I also made this like random top that I'm seeing now that was just pink that had little tinsel. I also made the same raglan tee in a blush color. And then I made this shrug. It doesn't have that much of a front part, but it has like a balloon sleeve style, which I think is adorable. And I kept it for myself because it didn't sell in the first drop. Which is okay, like you're not gonna sell everything. Here's a bonus little picture of me holding all the stuff from my first drop. And just a little side note, so I dropped my website on September 23rd, and I had 232 followers. 232 followers, okay? So if you're thinking of doing something like that, um, do it. Like, just do it. I didn't have that many followers when I started and you know i've grown so much and still have so much potential to grow you have to start somewhere so if you're thinking of starting a business or anything like that just do it like literally just do it you're not gonna have everything figured out right away i promise you you're not but you just have to start somewhere so you can do it i promise you just start somewhere anyways so that was pretty much everything from my first drop i made this fuzzy mohair beanie at the beginning of october it's actually pretty warm for how lightweight it is. This is an early prototype for my mini gru headbands. This was the first idea come to fruition kind of thing. It's chunkier yarn than I use now. This was like the start of something because those headbands are my best seller and um, this is where it all started. 
in October. So after my first drop, I had a little phase with cyanotypes. They're also called sun prints. They're super fun. So I designed this in Photoshop, but I just printed out a transparent and put it on the shirt. This says Mini Goose Studios. And then this one, I actually scanned this coaster that we took from a bar in Germany. I put it on a t-shirt. Then I made this little tank. I designed this in Photoshop as well. The edges bled a little bit, but I kind of like the way it looks. And then this is just a photo of strawberries that I took. It's really faded now and it didn't print that well the first time. And I made a green balaclava and this heart balaclava that no one bought. <laughs> and then you already know the mini grew headbands. The first one I made was a brown and white one. This is the only one that I have that I own myself. I also wear this one all the time and I'm just going to put all the colors on the screen um, so you can see them all. I've made a ton of them this year. They were my best seller. People seem to really like them, which is really cool and I just love that people are wearing them. It seriously makes me so happy that people love them because I love them too. If you have one and want to send me a picture, do that because I would love to see it. So the next thing I made is this back to work vest. This is the first open back top that I've done. I really want to do another one. I think it turned out really cute. The skull balaclava. I really, really liked this one. This was probably one of my favorite things that I made this year. Yeah, it's just really cool. It's so badass and um, it went to a good home. I do want to make another one. It was just really time consuming. Along with the skull balaclava came the skull beanie. My dad really wanted it. I'm going to make him one for a late Christmas gift. Yeah, that one was super cool. I think I even want to make one for myself or do it in different colors. Then I made the Saturn heart top. And this one was very popular on Instagram. But I did um, some intarsia. And it's a little bit messy, which is why I didn't sell it. Um, I wanted to kind of perfect it first. It's just this really pretty pink color and I love the contrast of the pink and the blue. And then I made a ton of skinny scarves. I crocheted this one and left the ends out. These came after I got this bad boy, which has been in the box for a long time. I haven't used it in a while. This one I actually made with some fuzzy yarn. I also made a couple pairs of hand warmers. And then I made like a skullcap version of the headbands, which was in this green and pink colorway. This is a Saturn heart beanie. It's cute. I love the brown and purple together. And the poof. It's a little messed up. I actually made this one on the centro too. And then of course the fauna tanks with the flower. This was the second prototype to that top. I'm still working on developing a different design for that. I just haven't really looked at it in a while, but I just love the little rose detail. It's like a velvet rose. We are almost done, friends. This was a little scrap vest that I did. I haven't weaved in the ends yet. Super simple, just wool with this little pink mohair bow. It's so cute. Um, this also never sold. It's still on my website if you want to buy it. I really like all those colors together. And then the little baby beans with the mohair bows. There's still two left on my site if anyone is interested. I forgot about this tank. This has like a chain stitch heart. I never sold this because it's really hard to get over my head. I was just going to remake it and I never got around to it. And then another raglan tee. This one is in a cream color. It has my tag on the back. And then I bought a sewing machine and broke it within the first 20 minutes of using it. When I got my sewing machine back, I made this tote bag from an old pillowcase literally a, a 50 cent pillowcase from the thrift store you, you can find so many good floral pillowcases i also have this one that i'm going to do the same thing too and then this raglan tee with the saturn heart it's 100 percent wool in this rust color and, and then has like a sage green for the ring i really love this one i wear it all the time i wore it on instagram recently so at the end of november i moved to north carolina so i didn't have all my yarn with me all that I made were the mini grew headbands because I had like one pair of needles that I used for those. So I made like nine headbands plus a few custom ones and that's pretty much all I was doing this month. Until last week I made one singular mitten. I'm planning on making another one but I did make a pair of mittens for my mom. This is my first time trying to make mittens and my first time using the magic loop method so I think I'm gonna make a bunch of them for January and make mismatch mittens. I talked about this on the channel before but I want to do a mitten drop. I can buy a pair or you can buy like mismatch ones. The last thing that I made this month was a couple of these skull cap 
beanies. I also made one for Elliot for Christmas. I was knitting these in the last vlog. So if you're curious, that's how they turned out. This one I love too. All right, I'm officially running out of sunlight, but I am done. That was everything that I made this year. I'm gonna count them so I can put them in the title. What a crazy year. I made so much stuff. Like it's actually pretty overwhelming thinking about how much I made this year. It is what I love to do and I'm really glad that I got to do it. Thanks for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you like this video and subscribe. I started my YouTube channel in December, so this month, and um, I'm super excited to see where it goes in 2023 because i've always wanted to make a youtube channel look out for new videos if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below and i really enjoyed showing you guys everything that i made this year um in the meantime you can follow me at minigrew.studios on instagram thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye